Welcome back to Bitfumes and this is the Angular Plus Laravel authentication series and we are going to do the sign up part in this episode. This means we have this sign up button. If I click on this, we are on the sign up component and now we have to create firstly the form to sign up. So let's go to VS Code and here firstly on this front end let's go to source folder app folder component we have this sign up component and on this sign up we have the sign up dot component dot html and here what we are going to do we are going to create the form just like we have on our login so why not copy everything from login and paste it on the sign up so this means if i now go and refresh my page and yes we have this sign up and this is actually showing because of error which is like we don't have the email field for the sign up component dot ts that's why it's giving error so let's now go here and let's create a public form which is an object and this get the email as initially null name as initially null password again null and then comes uh, password underscore confirmation which is also null so these are the things we have created let's close this line and now if i go we don't get any kind of error but we need two more fields one for name and one for confirmation of the password so let's go to sign up component and just here on this uh, email part let's create another one so shift alt and down arrow then we have this so first one has to be in name not email here also comes uh, let's copy one 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 then comes name and i think that has to be capital n type is text and everything is good so ng model is equal to form dot name similarly we have to select this one the password field shift alt and down arrow then here password or simply i can say confirm password and name where is that name here confirmation that means password confirmation and similarly here password underscore confirmation let's see how it's going to look yeah this is nice but i think if i give the placeholder name as capital n that will look better and that's the case so everything is good but here we have this uh, found two element with unique id yes that is why because of this so confirmation password confirmation and here we have so let's copy this one and give the id of password confirmation input password confirmation 3 if there is any error we will solve that also but we are not getting any kind of error one thing remaining password or confirm password for the password placeholder yes it is good and our validation will work properly because we have the validation and all kind of things that means it's now turning to green but what we can do next yes we have all these field and now we can create this hook that means on submit so copy this on submit is a function and this will going to have the again ajax call similarly we have on the login so here we have this login so let's copy this from here paste it here and this time it's not localhost colon 8000 api slash login it has to be sign up but do we have that sign up part so for that let's go to backend that means on the level part go to routes api and we don't have any kind of route for sign up so let's create that so let's copy this one and paste it here and now sign up similarly the function is sign up 
let's go to auth controller to create this function so auth controller and just below login let's create public function sign up and this will get request dollar request and then we will do the sign up part okay so this is good and how we can sign up a user to create the sign up this means to create a user on our user table so it's very easy you just have to say user and don't forget to use this user model at the top then create and pass on each and everything this is good whenever the user is created so like user this user is created then we need to log in that user and what do you mean by log in that means we just have to use this function so instead of returning redirect any kind of response i will simply say return dollar this arrow login and pass on the request so dollar request and this is going to be on the login function so when user is created that information of the user so instead of request you can pass user also but request we have passed and in that request it will get only email and password and then if that was found correct obviously that will be correct because we have just created the user it will give the token that's why i have returned these things so let's now go to chrome refresh this and let's see what's going to happen so sarthak bitfumes one two three one two three and not sign in we have to sign up so i think we have to switch these uh, buttons so like sign up dot component dot html here and one thing more you can see it's giving error why it's giving error because everything is good we have not imported the http module here on our constructor so private http is http client which is here imported and we don't have any handle error method so let's now again go to login and copy that handle error method which just going to do this error part so again we need a public function not function public uh, variable or data which is called error and initially it is null close this line so i think now we should not get error and that's why when i save error gone so let's switch the name so sign in has to be here and sign up has to be here now when the users click on the sign in button we don't want to redirect again to sign up we just want to redirect to login page so everything is done i think and make sure this is not a login form this is a sign up form so why not sign up so now copy this sign up form go at the top and make this also a sign up form now everything is absolutely correct refresh this page give the details and hit on the sign up and yes we are unauthorized why unauthorized because if i go to my auth controller the api middleware is attached to every function just uh, ignoring the login so we have to ignore sign up also so sign up refresh and let's try to hit sign up once more this is good and now it's saying uh, request does not exist so now let's get this request and this request has to be eliminate http request which is here okay so this is done let's once more go so click on this sign up and now again we have some another error which is mass assignment so this means we have to go to user.php file and that means the user model and fillable is these things but instead of this actually why we are getting this because we are passing four fields 
password confirmation also we doesn't have any field we just have these three field and actually we have to fill these three fields also so what we have to do this is just for confirmation of password that means the two password are same so now we are going to create a new thing which is called the request for our user model so let's open a backend terminal and here i will say php artisan make request and this is sign up request and in this sign up request let's go and that's that sign up request is inside app http request sign up request so in the sign up request so firstly we have to make this as a true that means authorize is true and now we have to make sure that firstly the name is required then the email is again required and this means we are actually creating the validation and this has to be email and one more thing is that this is unique for users table remember we have to give the table name not the model name then password is again obviously required but it has to be confirmed and by using this confirmed system we are saying that okay this means ignore these field and firstly compare these fields if both are password and confirm password are same then ignore this confirm password and just use password okay so these things are here and instead of this request sign up we have imported that let's delete that from here and now we will use sign up request and used at the top let's see if i don't give any password confirm password and obviously we cannot sign up so let's give different confirm password sign up we have again error and this time it says the password confirm does not match so if i give exact password one two three and i will give uh, email which is not a valid email just the name hit the sign up and we are getting this time email must be valid one so why not use these things and show here and it's not login here it's sign up here or register here so go to sign up dot component dot html and sign up here or register here that will be nice and now for each and every field we need a separate error because this doesn't have to be individual error so here we will say if we have error dot name then show error dot name similarly if we have for email then email and one more for password so password but we have to make sure that our error is not a null value it's a array or it's a empty array then here on this handle error part we will say error dot error dot errors why errors because if i go to chrome and here if i give any random data and sign up yes we have this <laughs> okay you can see it's working absolutely fine and we have this errors remember this yeah and now you can see we have these things and if i give different password confirmation then sign up and password confirmation does not match this is everything is working absolutely fine now we can easily sign up the user so sarthak bitfumes one two three four five six one two three four five six sign up and internal server let's see the error okay mass assignment again have the problem of mass assignment you know why we are getting this error because if i go to auth controller we have imported that user but user is foundation auth user this is not we want we want our user model which is app slash user this one great wow very nice sign up once more and the different error email password doesn't match or doesn't exist 
why is that we have database we have details and now we have the problem of password not uh, password doesn't have the bcrypt part so let's now go to our user model once more and here we will create a public function function and its name is set password attribute and what this will do before saving the password it will do something on the password field so dollar this arrow attribute and attribute name is password which is going to be uh, bcrypt part of value and value we will get from here we don't have to give the arrow yes we don't have to return anything and we are getting this error because this has to be square brackets and like this this has to be attributes not attribute so last try and this time everything will work fine and surely we get the token and we get these things so we have have done everything correct and we are logged in we just have to proceed our login system and now in the next episode we will sign in or log in and we will see how we can store token and how we can move forward and make our app quite a good thing so if you have not subscribed to this channel please go and subscribe to this channel because here level knowledge never ends and don't forget to share these video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of this thing called level and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye